Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to use the calendar app on any Android phone. Now when it comes to managing daily tasks and a routine or events, the calendar app is pretty much the best app you can use. There's a lot of alternatives on the Google Play Store that you can download, but you will find that the calendar is pre-installed and it's probably the easiest of all the apps to use. To do this, open up your app drawer and select the calendar app that's provided. Now this is a blank calendar pretty much. To create an event, what we need to do is press the plus button. And at the top we'll give it a name, so let's just put party. Underneath you can say if it's an all day thing and then choose the day, so we can set it for today, that's fine. Underneath it'll attach to an email, so you'll get a notification through that email when it's near, which is fine. And also you can check when you want the email, uh, sorry, the notification to start letting you know about the event. So I'll say I want it on the day of event at 9am. You can add your location and you can also add notes. So if there's, you know, specific things you need to know about it, add them there. Uh, repeat, so basically this will mean if it's a repeat event, so if it's a weekly event, you can select this option and it'll tell you, so we want it to remind us uh, weekly because we're having that party every week, that's a lot of parties. <laughs> and at the bottom here, we can get the uh, invitees option. So this allows us to use our contacts app to add certain people to that event. Uh, and it lets us track who's uh, coming. So it'll only, sorry, it'll only go through your contacts list. So you'll need to make sure that you've got everyone added. And once that's done, you just press save. Now, as you can see, it's now added. And because we, select, we, uh, we selected the weekly mode, we can now see all the options every week and then if you want to have a close look you can select sorry view and then if you go to week as shown and it'll break it down of what you've got on every uh, day this week and again you can just press the plus button to keep adding more stuff now as long as you attach to your own gmail account if you then log into a different android phone with that same account all your calendar stuff will import with it so any events you've created will automatically be added to your new device something that's highly useful and uh, it will save you a lot of time. And that is the basics of how to use the calendar app on any Android phone. Thanks for watching.